Iranian feminist artist censored by American University sparking backlash. This is outrageous, Habibis. Okay. McAllister College, a private liberal arts college in Minnesota, recently shut down and censored an art exhibition by feminist artist Tarvat uh, Talipasand after some Muslim students were offended by it. Talipasand's work often criticized Islamic conservatism and the oppression of women under Islamist regimes. Some artworks the college claimed to have shocked and offended student sensibilities included a risque drawing of a woman in a hijab lifting her clothes and showing her underwear, and another lifting her niqab to reveal her underwear while raising the middle finger. The exhibit also featured porcelain sculptures of women in niqabs revealing their breasts. Not pleased with her artwork, some of McAllister's student body members submitted a petition demanding to shut down the exhibition, claiming that Talipasan's work caused, quote unquote, deep pain and even, quote unquote, perpetuated harm against Muslims. McAllister College covered the artwork with black curtains, which the critics criticized as censorship. Administrators at McAllister eventually reopened the exhibit, albeit with less censorship. The entrance doors were taped up so that people could not see the artwork. Visitors were also shown a content warning of upsetting or unacceptable images. This pisses me off so much. And I'm just thinking of it from the perspective of like, there are probably a lot of female students on that campus from Iran. And I'm just thinking of like, I'm trying, I'm like mentally, <laughs> I'm like, my brain is breaking. If I was put in that position where it's like, I, especially for this artist, this artist had to leave her homeland to never return so that she can express herself freely without threat of custodial abuse and systematic RAPE, right? If not worse. And sacrificing so much to criticize the most oppressive and dogmatic aspects of the society and government that she lived under, right? And so she has to give up everything that she's ever known to come to a country where she can be free and starts an art practice. She gets well known. And then not only this would be outrageous in general, but given the current climate, this is absolutely insulting, absolutely insulting to have an art exhibition and then have people again corralling you, saying that this is disgusting, this is perpetuating harm against me, this is offensive. It's so offensive that we need to shut you down, that we are going to silence you. We are going to make sure that you are not seen. Not only that, the symbolism fucking cuts my heart. We are going to cover your expression of breaking free of Islamic patriarchy with a black curtain. A woman who had to leave everything behind so that governments could not force her into black curtains is now being forced behind black curtains because of some dumbass like sensitivity training that's saying this is so offensive and this is perpetuating harm against a minority community da, 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 da. instead of embracing the fact that she's being incredibly transgressive imagine for a moment if there was a woman that came from a catholic background like myself and wanted to make art that was exactly the same just nuns instead of women in a niqab. And people started shutting it down, saying, no, this needs to be behind a curtain. This needs to be covered up. P 
people would be outraged. They, they, this is such an imposition over a woman who's a feminist taking back her autonomy. If this was in a Christian context, this would have never happened. Never. There wouldn't be warnings on it that someone might find upsetting or unacceptable, unacceptable images. Never. Never. But because of where she comes from, in our backwards, progressive, the way that we're so turned up and have our heads on the wrong ways when it comes to these issues, we are betraying the people who are really being liberal and pushing for liberation within their societies. Because she comes from a different country in a different context and she looks a little bit different, well, that's how they are in their culture. And she's being offensive to their culture. It's disgusting. It's so disgusting. And it makes me so angry. Like, and then with, to add insult to injury, as if there wasn't enough already. One of, this is so ironic. This is so ironic and upsetting. One of the pieces that she had in her exhibit was a neon sign that says, Woman Life Freedom, Zanzendigi Azadi. And now this expression that is the model, that is the driving force for freedom for the entirety of Iranian society is now also being shrouded behind a black curtain and told that there needs to be viewer discretion advised. It breaks my brain. <sighs> okay. So now that I got that out of my system, Armin, what is your reaction? Mm -hmm. I, I just want to point out how, well, you said all the negative. I want to say something positive. Um, I think a lot of these progressives are going to be so confused because they're looking at countries, for example, in the Middle East and their culture and them needing to be accepting of other people's cultures, minorities' culture, right? And now what we're going to have, what we're having is a wave of Iranians. We already had a lot of Iranians in North America and Europe, and there's more coming. And their culture, their culture, their newfound culture, their growing culture is being anti-Islam. So, <laughs> so this is what do you what do you do that this is the Iran is right now the most anti-Islamic country in the world. Again, let me repeat that. Iran is right now not anti-Muslim, okay? Not like China and India, okay? Iran is right now the most anti-Islamic country in the world, and they have turned that not into just an attitude, but it's a culture now. Right? And Iranians, either refugees, you know, worker, working immigrants, student, student immigrants, permanent residents, and new citizens, they are going to come, and these progressives are going to be like, what the hell is this? Okay, because this is not what I've been told. <laughs> yes, respecting immigrant culture means like, oh, as we respect things like Islam, but now this immigrant culture is anti-Islam. So what do we do now? <laughs> so, uh, like, huh, huh. So this is what you're seeing here, basically, is a sign of a lot of new things to come, I think, in the mm -hmm. future. You know how we talked about how the clash between, so in the progressive world, we had pro-LGBT, which is good, but pro-Islam, which is bad, and we thought that at some point, these two parts of the progressive movements are going to have a clash within each other, especially in the UK, right? And it happened, all right? So here's 
Now, another prediction. There's going to be a clash between progressives who are like, okay, whose side do we pick on this? Like, what do we do, right? So we'll see. We have two super chats that we need to highlight. Thank you for yeah. everybody Can who's super very, well, there's so many. There's so many things I wanted. So many good comments. Go ahead with the super chats, though. Bitter Truth okay. gave us five dollars. Thank you so much, Bitter Truth. Thank you. So let's have ex-Muslims interviewed why they left Islam. Well, you should go check out the Secular Jihadist channel. Armin has done years worth of Amazing. those kinds of um, interviews. Definitely go check out the yes. Secular Jihadist podcast. Yes. Oh, yeah. This is these uh, responses. It's called Art Burka. Yeah. So, yeah, it does actually look like an Art Burka. Wait, did I star this? Okay. It's other super chat. Here's another super chat. Oh, Numan, thank you for the super chat. He's saying, does anyone have plans for Atheist Day this month? We will be announcing those soon. So yes, stay tuned. thank you. Yeah. Well, thank you for reminding everybody about March 23rd, which is Atheist Day. Um, um, we had so many Danish. good comments. So uh, Danish is saying, yeah, this has got to be the feeling of a lot of Iranians. Can we send these people to Iran for just a week? Hmm. I don't know if they will hate it. They're going to go and they're going to be treated like they're going to be given the hijab. They're not going to have they're not going to have the experience that a lot of people have suffering in Iran. OK, unless they get kidnapped by the government and hold for ransom. But uh, but usually foreigners go to Iran and they have an OK time and they come out with a misunderstanding of what it's like to be in Iran. Mm. Iran. Yeah. Um. D is saying, if I see a warning sticker, I want to see it more. Yeah, exactly. Me too. That's a sign of being a rebel. And here's the last comment. Um, can you read that? Just oh, most oh, hey, your emoticon is that wrong? Yeah, I'll put you down there. Uh, not emoticon. Your yeah, there we go. All right, Mustafa is saying, I doubt there is a lot of Persian students. Uh, Somali students, on the other hand, are more indoctrinated in Islam than Persian students. I can say that as an Eastern African American. Well, I don't know. There are. Well, you mean there? Are, I, I doubt there is a lot of Persian students that are Muslim. I don't understand what you're saying. Here. No. So I was saying because, what if this? If I was a Persian student on that campus, what my experience oh, yeah. would be? And he was saying oh, like, yeah, I don't okay. think that there are a lot of Persian students there, but there's like at least one. But then, yeah, yeah. so, but he was raising a good point because this happened in Minnesota, which does have a very large Somali population. And Minnesota is also the state where we had the incident at Hamline University, where that abject art professor was fired for showing a medieval painting of the Prophet Muhammad that is largely regarded as an Islamic masterpiece in the context of an art history course. And she was fired for offending students. Mm. So well, that also happened in Minnesota. So it's Minnesota is dealing with this, this contention right now. Get my best selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.